Okay, welcome back. This is question number four from the paper two of the February, March 2020 um, International GCSE um, Cambridge paper, the very first paper for the new syllabus of 2020, which was supposed to take place, which I've explained before anyway. So now, this question here is asking us to find the interior angle of a regular polygon with only four sides. So there's a few things that uh, we need to look at here. First of all, you have the word interior. The interior angle is the angle on the inside of the shape rather than the angle on the outside. Okay, and I'll show you what I mean um, by means of this little... Here I have a polygon, okay, and I've extended one of the sides. So I've, I've extended one of the sides out, so that becomes now the exterior angle over there. Let me just get my pen back. All right, so that is the exterior angle, and that is the interior angle. So this is the interior angle, and this is the exterior angle. That's what they mean by interior, the one on the inside. The exterior angle is on the outside. Okay, now, there's a very important uh, point I'd like to make that will help us here, is that the sum of the interior and exterior angle at every corner, as you see, it makes a straight line. You just extended this line, is 180 degrees. So that's going to actually help us a lot in this particular question. We know the exterior the exterior angle plus the interior angle will always add up to 180 degrees at any one given corner in any polygon. Okay, now, the next important point is the fact that it's mentioned that it's a regular, a regular polygon. Now, a regular polygon, what it means is all the sides are the same length in that polygon and all the angles are equal. So, for example, an equilateral triangle, all the angles are the same. That's an example of a regular polygon. A square, all the angles are the same and all the sides are the same length in a square. So therefore, it's a regular polygon. So a regular 24-sided polygon will have 24 sides, which are all equal in length, and 24 interior angles, which will all be the same, and 24 exterior angles, which will all be the same as each other. So now, knowing that piece of information will help us to be able to find one particular angle. So there's two ways of doing it. One way is to consider the sum of all the interior angles and divide that by 24, it will give you the size of one of them because they're all equal. Um, and that's one way of doing it, and that's perfectly fine. And that would be done by doing, by understanding that the sum of the interior angles is given by the formula 1 and 80 times n minus 2. So basically, it's always 2, the number of sides in the polygon minus 2 will tell you how, what to multiply 180 by. Okay, and we can, we did a little experiment um, or little investigation in my class when we, we did this particular topic um, where we divided a polygon into a number of triangles and we found that every polygon basically has two less triangles in it than the number of sides. So like a triangle has one triangle in it um, and a quadrilateral has two. If you join one side to the opposite side, you have two triangles and a pentagon. Okay, that's one, two, three, four, five. If you like join that to that, and you join from the same corner to the other vertex, you can't make any more. You've got three triangles. So there's five sides, there's three triangles. There's four sides, there's two, there's one, uh, there's two triangles. There's three sides, there's one triangle. If there were six sides, there would be four triangles. So the number of triangles is always two less than the number of sides, and that's where this formula comes from. 180 is the sum of the angles in a triangle times... Um, the number of triangles, which is always two less than the number of sides. So 180 times, in this case, it's going to be 180 times 22, okay, which will give us a, the, the sum of the interior angles. And if you divide that by the number of sides, you'll get the size of each of one particular angle. So this will be 180 times, you're going to have 22, because 24 minus 2, over 24, which is the sum, which is the number of uh, sides. And that should give you the answer. Let me find my calculator to make sure. Okay, so you have 180 multiplied by 22 divided by 24 and that gives us 165 degrees and there's our answer. Okay, however, I personally prefer the method which I find is much easier if you just think about the fact that the exterior angles in any polygon, no matter how many sides it has, whether it has three sides or it has a million sides, the sum of the exterior angles will always be 360 degrees. The sum of the exterior angles doesn't depend on the number of sides. 
Okay, it depends on it just it's just basically add up to three sixty because if you add them together, you get a whole circle. So, you know, the number of size, the num, the size of the angles or the sum of the angles in in a in a uh, the sum of the interior angles in a polygon depends on the number of sides. So, if there's more sides, you'll have a, a bigger sum. But the sum of exterior angles will always be the same thing, three hundred sixty degrees. So, I know that three sixty divided by 24 will be the exterior angle in a regular polygon okay which is this one so this is 360 this is 360 divided by 24 and therefore i know that this angle because it makes a straight line with this is going to be 180 minus that angle there so it's 180 minus 360 over 24 so if i did 180 minus 360 over 24 i hope you'll see that we get exactly the same answer that we got the other way but this i think is a bit more of a simpler method 360 over 24. you get the same answer 165 degrees okay now many of you will be used to this method and there's nothing wrong with using either of these methods however sometimes you got some type of algebraic problem and this method will really help you in you know if you think in terms of exterior angles because the sum is always the same, which is 360, that kind of helps you a bit in, in your calculation. So um, that's question number four about polygons. If you want to see uh, the other questions on this, on this paper, click on the icon over here. If you want to see other papers in uh, angle geometry, click on this icon here. If you want to go to the paper four, click on the card at the top here. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, click on this icon over here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.